a good question to consider is what will what will what will this Eucharistic Congress bring to our country? Well, let's consider what what life is like without the Eucharist. What life is like without Jesus? Because Jesus is the light of the world, so the Eucharist is the light. Without light, there's darkness, and we see this darkness everywhere. We experience it in our lives, in our families, through our through our sin, but also through our anxieties, through our wounds, through our ways in which we find it hard to forgive people. All these ways, the darkness creeps and creeps and creeps into ourselves, but also into our country. We see the darkness spreading through, through some of the laws that are being passed in our parliament. All of, this, all of this creeping darkness darkens our society. So that's what happens when the light is turned out when the light is not present. But Jesus is the light, the Eucharist is the light. So we are inviting the light back into our darkness and that light will be switched on and darkness disappears. One candle lit means that it's no longer dark because there's light. Imagine how much more light will come into our nation through this Eucharistic Congress. And what will be the fruits of that? Well, time will tell, but perhaps we could think about, well, what were the fruits of Jesus' ministry 2,000 years ago? And we see, when we read the Gospels, the healings. Jesus healed countless people. We look at the deliverance. The demons flee at the name of Jesus. His presence, they can't coexist when Jesus is there. So all that darkness, all that evil will be, will be swept away when Jesus is present. We think about the signs and wonders that Jesus worked. He, he calmed the sea, he, he calmed the storm. Those signs and wonders, why can't we see them again? We will because Jesus will be present. Other things he did, he multiplied food. He, he gave us this great teaching. When the Eucharist is present, all of these signs, all of these wonders, all of this teaching is also present to us. So that's the fruit. But what is the greatest fruit? What is the greatest fruit that Jesus Christ brings? It's mercy, it's peace, and ultimately, it's salvation. He came, he comes to save us. Through this Eucharistic Congress, surely the greatest fruit in many people's lives is that by the grace of God, by our prayers, by all that is going to happen, they will be saved.